sa tingin mo ba makatarungan yung ginawa kay Gretchen Custodio Jess na ang gusto lang naman niya is umiki lang sa may palikuran and then ganun yung ginawa sa kanya. I categorize this vlog as uh, part of my personal playlist because I also belong to the LGBT community. Since si Gretchen Custodio Jess ay isa pong transgender, so nasa T siya dun sa LGBT while me, I am in the G. So I'm a gay man. And then, yun po, medyo personal and medyo sensitive po yung tatalakayin natin about this vlog. So here are the five interesting facts bakit dapat talagang ipasa yung soju bill and dapat i-defend natin yung rights ni Gretchen. Kaya narito guys ang 5 interesting facts bakit naging trending na ngayon si uh, Gretchen Custodio Diaz na isa pong transgender woman. Ayan. Okay, let's start with the first and the most interesting fact of this vlog is that um, Gretchen Custodio Diaz is a transgender woman or a transgender female. Ang tanong, what is a transgender? Ito po yung term sa mga tao na uh, they prefer to identify themselves or their sexual orientation to be the gender that they prefer. For example, pag pinanganak ako na, na lalaki, syempre nakikita nyo naman. And then as time goes by, talagang napansin nyo na girl, girl na tapos uh, long hair talaga yung features is nagiging girl na nagtitake na ng hormone therapy interest niya is puro talagang girl and then uh, pagdating sa adult talagang totally transformed na female um, ay post or pre-op pa yun ha yun, yun po ang tinatawag nilang uh, transgender so in the case of mga transgender male eto po yung talagang lalaking lalaking itsura pero babae nung pinanganak sila so, nung pinanganak silang babae, uh, napapansin nila na talagang lalaki sila. There's something ano sa, sa kanila. And then, ayun po, nag-transform sila into male. Yun po yung transgender male. Yun po. So, dalawa yung classification ng transgender. Transgender male and transgender woman. They belong to the T sa LGBT community. And for me naman, I belong to the G. So, gay man. Yan po. And syempre, sa mga lesbian, is... Yung lesbian is, syempre, babaeng babae, pero na-attract sila sa same sex. Ayan. And then, uh, yung mga bi, may bi na lalaki, may bi na babae. Obviously, mga bi, mapato sa babae at lalaki. Ganun din sa girl. Bi woman, na bisexual woman, na ganun din sa girls and woman. Ayan po. Yan po yung basic explanation. I hope na intindihan nyo. For the second interesting fact, Ito po ay is, yung nangyari kay Gretchen is uh, is a form of a discrimination towards the LGBT community. So ang nangyari sa kanya is talagang kinaladkad. Kinaladkad siya tapos uh, merong nagkaroon po ng medyo physical na ano nangyari sa kanya. And then ang masaklap talagang pinosas siya ng mga kapulisan. So Nangyari ito mismo sa Quezon City kung saan isa sa mga pinakaunang lungsod sa Metro Manila na nagpas ng anti-discrimination law towards the LGBT community. Pero yung nangyari kay Gretchen, isa, po, isa pong clear form of abusive, discriminatory na nga, physically abusive pa kasi syempre mag-isa lang niya at buti na lang merong social media para uh, makita kung paano nangyari sa kanya yung ganong klaseng discrimination. So, kaya uh, moving on with the third interesting facts. Gusto lang naman ni Gretchen Custodio na mag-CR. As a person, we need to attend our physiological needs. Ano ba yung physiological needs natin? Dapat, syempre, umihi tayo para maalis yung mga waste products sa ating urinary system. So, syempre, biologically wise, pumunta si uh, Gretchen sa CR para i-release yung kanyang waste product. 
yun nga lang ang nangyari ang masaklap blinak siya due to her um, sexual orientation so uh, ayun po syempre instead na instead na i-release mo yung waste magkakaroon ka pa ng additional stress dahil sa nangyari kaya simpleng bagay lang naman hindi naman siya nanakit hindi naman siya kawatan she, this person has no intention of hurting somebody she is just uh, a person wanting to attend her physiological needs ang masaklap nga lang uh, nangyari yung sa kanya na discriminate siya due to her sexual orientation let's proceed with the fourth interesting fact ayan kaya nag boom sa social media yung discrimination regarding sa case ni Gretchen Custodio Jess Kaya nakarating ito sa office at attention ni First District ng Bataan Representative Geraldine Roman. Kaya nagkaroon po siya ng uh, talagang live na press conference regarding yung discriminative behavior sa Farmers Plaza kung saan violently nakinaladkad si Gretchen from the CR just because she wanted to uh, yan, um, attend her physiological or basic need. And then, uh, secondly, si Senator Risa Contiveros naman, um, sabi niya is, this form of uh, discriminative behavior is unacceptable kasi hindi lang siya discriminatory, it is very very um, verbally and physically abusive towards the LGBT community. Kaya she is now extending her legal support for free kay uh, Gretchen Custodio. And then, hours after nag-press conference si, si Geraldine Roman, nag-drop na agad ng case, bigla-bigla, yung Farmers Plaza at ng Johnny Tres. Tapos, ayan, nagbigay uh, po siya ng uh, letter of apology si yung Johnny Tres na kung saan, ayan po, dinefense din daw niya yung side niya. May kita niyo dyan sa letter. Ayan. Pero, of course naman, dahil sa trauma, Kasi yung scenario na yan is post-traumatic. It's very um, anxious. Nakaka-anxious talaga yung, yung case na ganyan. Pag nag mo na violently discriminated, this, uh, decidido na si Gretchen na sampahan ng kaso yung gumawa nung sa kanya, such as yung Johnny Teres at yung pamunuan ng Farmers Plaza. Or depending on the case, kung ano man yung um, advice sa kanya ng legal representative niya. Let's proceed with the fifth and ito po yung isa sa mga interesting fact which is yung SOGI bill passage and hoping for the approval na kung saan ang SOGI bill stands for the acronym of Sexual Orientation and Gender Identification Expression This is the uh, fight for equality yung purpose niya is to raise awareness and to prevent discriminatory uh, practices, activities towards the LGBTQ community kung maipapasa to at maa-approve sa Congress at sa Senate magiging mas malakas na campaign ito laban sa mga similar incidents of discrimination na nangyari kay Gretchen Kaya yung mga taong nag-discriminate, pwede silang makasuhan na kung saan uh, applicable siya to two entire Philippines. Kaya yung mga manalait dyan sa mga towards LGBT community, ayan po, meron na pong magiging kaso if ever yung mga verbal or mga emotional, physical, mental na mga abusive uh, practices towards the LGBT community, magkakaroon po ng legal basis para makasuhan at makulong. Lalong-lalo na sa mga umaapi towards the LGBT community, kaya dapat importante na maipasa yung SOGI Bill. Kaya sana sa vlog ko na ito, marami kayong natutunan regarding the LGBTQ issues na kung saan, syempre, yung tungkol sa amin, tungkol sa transgender, tungkol sa yung mga rights namin, and equality. And I hope sa vlog na ito, marami kayong natutunan, nag-increase yung awareness regarding sa tamang treatment towards the LGBT community. And I hope you would like to subscribe my YouTube channel. My first YouTube channel is The Story of Anthony, tsaka The Stel Story of Anthony Vlogs. For more updates regarding myself, 
my personal activities, travel, food, food galore, and everything. Kaya, guys, don't forget to click that notification bell para kada upload ko ay notify po kayo. And for those who wants to um, suggest, comment, react, ayan, feel free po to comment sa down below or uh, reach me out sa aking Facebook page, Instagram, or Twitter, The Story of Anthony. Ayan. And thank you guys. I love you all. Mama. <laughs>